Welcome. In this short tutorial video, I'm going to walk you through using functions in Google Sheets. We're going to go over some basic functions like sum, average, count, max, and min, and I'll show you how to go out to the functions repository and find a variety of different robust functions from anything dealing with engineering to finance um, to data manipulation. So lots of things are possible with these more functions. So let's get started. I've got here a basic data set that is just some dates listed in column A and some currency exchange rates listed in column B. So this is a great example of something that we can use to get working. So let's go ahead and start talking about how we can use functions. There are a couple of different ways. The first is that we can actually start to type functions directly into this function bar. And so what I'll, I'll go ahead and get started and we'll write a basic sum function to add up a few of our of our cells over here. So I'll start off with an equal sign and set that equal to sum and you can see that as I start typing the Google Sheets is going to use autocomplete to suggest helpful formulas that it has saved in its system. So we can see sum as an option here. I'll go ahead and click that and then it's going to open a parentheses for us. What, it's, what we do now is pass it all of the values that we want to sum. So what I'm going to do is instead of entering those manually, I'm actually going to come over here, find my the cell B2 and click into it and then drag maybe two or three more rows and then that'll be a good enough selection for us to sum. I'm going to go ahead and close my parenthesis and then press enter and it's actually going to do that calculation for us. So great we can see there a really nice example of the sum function. Now let's go over here and explore the functions menu which contains some of the really handy and most frequently used functions in addition to this more functions reference that we're going to talk about in a second. So this can also help us actually start to write functions instead of writing them directly into the functions bar. So if we wanted to do an, start an average function, we'll go ahead and just do it in this cell, open up our functions menu, click on average, and it's going to go ahead and start that for us. And then what we'll do is we'll just take an average of this entire row. So we'll go ahead and select all of those different cells in B and then click enter. You can see that if we scroll back up, we've got a nice average of 0.9166. Um, and then we could actually format that using different decimal points. If you wanted to round it at all, we can use that. Check out a lesson on formatting numbers um, for tips on how to do that a little bit better. So let's go through a couple of these other functions. So we've talked about sum, we've talked about average. Count is actually going to go through all of the cells that you provided and give you a count of the number of values. So this isn't necessarily looking at what the values are, just how many of them there are. So we'll go ahead and click count and then we'll go ahead and select that same data set and we'll see how many numbers that is. It looks like we've got 29. Um, so fairly easy to use, very good if you're looking at the frequency of something or you don't need to, you don't necessarily care what the data is, just how many points it has. We can use the count function to do that. We can also use max and min to find the max and the min numbers of a given data set. And so we'll go ahead and use those right here. So we'll start with max and we'll go ahead and do the same thing except I'm actually going to come up here and select this entire row by just clicking on B and we'll see what happens with this header in here. We'll see if it throws, gets angry at us. And it looks like it's gone and found the max number which is 0 0.9301. We can see that right here. Um, without any real issue. And so let's go ahead and try doing the same thing for our min function. So we'll just come in here, select the B column, and then click enter, and it's going to go ahead and find us that min value. So lots of really easy ways that we can get started using these simple functions um, from this functions menu or typing them directly in here if we want access to additional functions. Um, but a great place to look if you're ever wondering if Google Sheets can make a particular calculation easier for you because a function may already exist, definitely check out this more functions documentation listed here. Um, if we click that more functions option, it's going to open up a huge list of all of the different functions that Google Sheets has available. And here we can actually start to filter some down. So if we're looking for a particular function called sum if, we can just start typing into this search box and it'll bring up all of the things that meet that criteria. Um, or we can go and narrow by different categories. So here we can see that we've got things to deal with dates, with engineering, with financial, Google, information, um, logical, if we wanted to look at something that's true or false or if or not. 
Um, there's lots of great functions out here that can make your work with Google Sheets easier, to, regardless of what industry you're in. So make sure to take advantage of those and to check those out. Um, but either way, make sure to get started using this functions menu over here. Very easy to implement some of these really simple functions. Thanks for watching this short video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to post them on the YouTube comments below or on my blog page. And be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.